It's 20 totally random trivia questions on just about everything. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. Happy Friday. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Next week is Thanksgiving week. The holiday season is officially upon us. We got Thanksgiving. We got Black Wednesday or Blackout Wednesday, I think they call it because people go out drinking. We got Blackout Wednesday. Then we got Thanksgiving. Then we got Black Friday. And then we got Cyber Monday. This is insane. We got so many things going on this week. If you like eating and drinking and shopping. I am excited because even though I get really busy around the holiday seasons with a lot of company parties and corporate team building functions, I still get to kind of relax a little bit because people aren't doing parties, obviously, on Thanksgiving Day or Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, really, for the most part. So uh, I get to hang out with my family and sit around and do things like crossword puzzles, which I like to do, but I never actually have time to do. I also like these weird word fill in puzzles where it looks like a crossword puzzle, but you have all these blank, you have this big blank grid and only certain words will fit in certain uh, boxes and you have to, by process of elimination, figure out where all the words go. And it's not super challenging, but it's just challenging enough where you're sitting there for a bit. So those are my nerdy puzzle loves, and I'm going to do some of those over at my grandma's house in South Fontana, California. Very excited about that. Also, putting together a cheese platter. I may have mentioned this on a previous podcast. I've never done that before, but I said I'm going to do something different this year. So I've been shopping for different kinds of cheeses. I have not bought any cheeses yet, but I've gone to a couple different stores like uh, Sprouts and Trader Joe's and checking out their cheese sections to see what kind of cheeses. I'm going to get my hands on for this cheese platter. It's going to be a good one, and I will have a bunch of cool cheese for people to try on Thanksgiving. I'm very excited about it. I've been watching YouTube videos. It's getting weird. (laughs) But I watch this great British baking show, and they're always baking cool stuff, and that show makes me go, I could probably bake some stuff, but then I don't actually want to bake stuff. I would would just rather arrange things. Just give me stuff that's already made, put it on a plate, people enjoy it. That'll be good. Although... As a sidebar, including cheese, I made an excellent Havarti and Colby Jack grilled cheese today. I used coconut oil in the pan as a spray, and that seemed to help it cook very well. There's my trick for you today. And today we have 20 totally random trivia questions for you, just all across the board. I was uh, asked to write 300 trivia questions for a new app coming out somewhere in the Midwest. And I was just coming up with all these random things, finding different sources for questions. And I'm just going to read you 20 of those that I came across. So these are 20 totally random trivia questions. I think you'll have fun playing along with them. Stuff that you might find in one of my confidence rounds if you play live trivia with me in Southern California, or if you've listened to a confidence round episode of the show before. But I just have all these in a grid ready to go. So I thought, yeah, I'll read 20 of those on the podcast today. Remember, if you ever need some trivia question writing, or you want me to supply you with any kind of sets of rounds for like the Office Trivia Night or Harry Potter Trivia Night, I would love to help you out. And I think I'm going to put together some different packages of zip files where you can download a bunch of slides to use for your upcoming holiday parties. And I'm going to do some popular franchises, like maybe a Christmas-themed trivia night package, maybe an office-themed trivia night package, Harry Potter, um, different things like that that people enjoy. And I think I'm going to do like a Black Friday sale on my website. So all those will be available, I'm thinking, for about 20 bucks a piece. So you get everything you need to run your own trivia party, themed party questions that you haven't heard on the show before and it'll be fun and I'll give you all the answer sheets and stuff that you need nice answer key and all the slides to display on your tv or projector at home and we'll have a nice little flash sale on my website for black friday and cyber monday so get ready for those if you are into that kind of thing All right, we're going to jump into these 20 totally random questions from this grid sitting in front of me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're going to jump in right now. Here we go. All right, here we go, guys. The first question of 20 totally random ones. Here's question number one. What does the N stand for in the CBS hit drama NCIS? What does the N stand for in the hit CBS drama NCIS? Question number two, what does the V stand for in the name of the QVC cable shopping network? What does the V stand for in QVC? Question number two. 
Question number three, what does the P stand for? In the common financial abbreviation, APR. What does the P stand for? In the common financial abbreviation, APR. Question number four, what country is home to the 2,300 mile long Volga, Europe's longest river? Question number four, what country is home to the 2,300 mile long Volga, Europe's longest river? Question number five, what country's cuisine would most likely be served in a taqueria? Question number five, what country's cuisine would most likely be served in a taqueria? Question number six, what cooking term comes from the French word for white? What cooking term comes from the French word for white? Question number seven, what company's iconic logo was created by an Oregon college student in 1971 for just $35? Question number seven, what company's iconic logo was created by an Oregon college student in 1971 for just $35? Question number eight, what company takes its name from the first mate in the classic novel Moby Dick? What company takes its first takes its name from the first mate in the classic novel Moby Dick? Question number nine, in what teen comedy would you find the character McLovin? In what teen comedy would you find McLovin? Question number 10, what classic Disney film's soundtrack features the song Never Smile at a Crocodile? What classic Disney film's soundtrack features the song Never Smile at a Crocodile? Question number 11, what city's subway system is referred to by locals as the Tube? Where would you find the Tube? What city? Question number 12, what one-hit wonder band had the hit song Macarena? What band had the song Macarena? Question number 13, how many total NBA championships have the Chicago Bulls won? How many total NBA championships have the Chicago Bulls won? Question number 14, in what state was Gatorade invented? In what state was Gatorade invented? Question number 15, what hero's theme song said, Here I Come to Save the Day? What hero's theme song said, Here I Come to Save the Day? Question number 16, what school did Harry Potter attend? What was the name of the school that Harry Potter attended? Number 17, Charles Lee Ray is a killer with what one-word name in a horror series? Charles Lee Ray is a killer with what one-word name in a horror series? Question number 18, Sacred Heart Hospital is the fictional setting for what medical comedy? Question number 18, Sacred Heart Hospital is the fictional setting for what medical comedy? Number 19, what horror movie host is known as the Mistress of the Night? What horror movie host is known as the Mistress of the Night? And question number 20, what company's slogan is once you pop, you can't stop? What company's slogan is once you pop, you can't stop? Those are your 20 totally random trivia questions. We'll be right back in just a second with the totally random answers. Here we go, gang. Got the answers to those 20 questions for you from that grid that I was preparing for a Midwestern app company. Here's question number one. What does the N stand for in the CBS hit drama NCIS? That would be naval. Naval is the N there. Question number two. What does the V stand for in QVC shopping network value? I don't know what the Q and the C stand for, but the V is value. Number three. What does the P stand for in APR? That would be percentage. Percentage. Question number four, what country is home to the 2,300-mile-long Volga, Europe's longest river? That would be found in Russia. Very large area, Russia. 
Then we have the country's cuisine that would most likely be served in a taqueria. Could I say that any whiter? That's Mexico. Mexico. What cooking term comes from the French word for white? That would be blanche. Blanche, like the character on Golden Girls. Wasn't there a Blanche? What company's iconic logo was created by an Oregon college student in 1971 for just $35? That was Nike, the Nike swoosh. How about that? Next question. What company takes the name uh, from the first, takes its name. I messed this one up when I read it too. The first mate in the classic novel, Moby Dick, that would be Starbucks. Starbucks. In what teen comedy would you find the character McLovin? That was super bad. Super bad. What classic Disney film soundtrack features the song Never Smile at a Crocodile? That was Peter Pan. You could guess that from the Crocs appearance. What city's subway system is referred to as the tube? That would, of course, be London. London. Fergie sings about that London bridge. We all know that that tune, right? I played it last night at Music Bingo at a gross dive bar. What one-word wonder, one-hit wonder band had the song Macarena? That was Los Del Rio. Los Del Rio. How many championships have the Chicago Bulls won? Six total championships. In what state was Gatorade invented? Florida Gators. Florida was the answer there. What hero's theme song said, here I come to save the day? Mighty Mouse old school cartoon, Mighty Mouse. What school did Harry Potter attend? We all know. Of course, that's Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Charles Lee Ray is otherwise known as Chucky in the Child's Play series. Chucky. Sacred Heart Hospital is the fictional setting for what medical comedy? That would be Scrubs with Zach Braff and the gang. What horror movie host is known as the Mistress of the Night? Elvira was your answer there. And number 20, what company's slogan is Once You Pop, You Can't Stop? That would, of course, be Pringles, which I think are made of old newspapers. But I eat them nonstop because they're good. Those are your 20 questions and answers, guys. I hope you had fun on today's episode. A very longer, random set of questions today, but I think that that is probably good, especially if you're on a road trip of some kind or some sort of long commute and you wanted a little more trivia than just the usual 10 or 11 questions. It's time for the question of the day, brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs. We'll give you one more question before we get out of here. Funky Monkey Designs does a lot of great print work in San Dimas, California, and you can check out all their products at fmdesignsinc.com. If you need something custom printed, they are your people. Your question of the day is what actor played stuntman Johnny Blaze in the film Ghost Rider? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds, that's R Y A N B U D D S, on Twitter, or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Coca Cola, and that was for the company that owns Honest Tea. Trivia team name of the day is Words with Enemies. And again, go to Funky Monkey Designs at fmdesignsinc.com. If you're looking for gifts for Christmas for people who like pop culture, check out drewblank.com and use the code BUDS25 to get 25% off site-wide. If you like adult coloring books from The Office, Parks and Rec, Big Lebowski, Bill Murray, and Horror Icons, that's just one of the amazing things that uh, Drew has as a section on his website, his amazing collection of coloring books. Check those out. He does pop culture art squares, fake vinyl records, of your favorite characters, dresses, aprons, all kinds of cool stuff. Pillowcase covers. He has a Jeff Goldblum <laughs> pillowcase cover of him sitting shirtless on like a, a big twin-sized pillow, uh, double pillow, whatever those are called. You will love it. If you like anything I do, you'll love everything Drew Blank does. So go to drewblank.com, click the link in the show notes, and use the code BUDS25. Guys, thank you so much for listening to the show today. Thanks for telling a friend about the show. Thanks for leaving iTunes reviews to get more eyes and ears on the show. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers.